Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to crop images to specific aspect ratios. And I'm going to show you how to crop them to specific heights and widths and all of that really, really cool stuff. And I'll even show you how to straighten out an image, for example, or, or adjust it if you want to make some cool stuff. So guys, this is a cropping tutorial. I'm going to show you all the bells and whistles. Let's get right into this. All right, so the first thing you want to do is if you're following along with me, put any image, and it doesn't matter what it is, just drop any image of regular size into Photoshop like I've done here. I got this image free from Pexel, so I'm just using uh, free download stuff. It's all good, right? The second step is you want to hit the C button on your keyboard. And when you do that, you're going to see that it loads up the crop tool over here on the left side in my panel. Now, when you load the crop tool, in all probability, you're going to see the ratio. And I'm just going to delete these things out here. So what you got here is if you go to the top, you're going to see this little drop down and you're going to see the ability to make all sorts of changes here. So the first one I want to show you is ratio. OK, so when you click on ratio, you're going to see here that you can do if you're a YouTuber, you might want to do 16 by 9. OK, 16 by 9 is the official thumbnail uh, aspect ratio for YouTube. So. For example, you would want 1920 by 1080 pixels if you want to do a thumbnail, for example, or if you're using a lower res, uh, you could do 1280 by 720, but what it boils down to is those are 16 by 9. So here is how you can go ahead and adjust the ratio. And if you don't want 16 by 9, but you want 4 by 3 because you're whatever, you're in old school, uh, that didn't work, but uh, you know what I'm talking about here. So I'm just going to clear that out and I am going to hit escape. Okay, gonna not crop that, but that's how you adjust the ratio. Very, very simple. Go back to the crop tool. We're gonna drag and drop this bad boy down. I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and create Instagram size posts. Now, Instagram is kind of cool because it uses a different ratio. It uses a, a variance. It has one to one, which is a square, as you can see here, as I'm just dropping this down again. So if I wanted a square, I can make this into a square. I know this is correct. This is a square ratio. Also, Instagram allows four by five. That adds a little bit of a difference there. So, I mean, most people are still going square because it gives you the most real estate. But if you want to do a four by five or you want to get that panoramic type look, you can go to this type of uh, one to one or, or four to five ratio. So this is another option here with the crop tool. A third option here is I'm just going to go up here and it's going to say width times height times resolution. This is really, really, really useful if you're a web designer. If you're designing for the web, you often have like a specific slider size or you have a specific hero image size and you want to dial it in, right? So if you've got a large picture like this and you only want, let's say you want 800 pixels by 400 pixels, okay, it's pretty small. Bang, there you go. And I'll zoom in. We've got 800 pixels by 400 pixels. Yeah, we just took a small piece of that, but that could be what you're looking for for your website. And that's very, very common size. But I'm just going to go to edit and I'm going to go to image, file. Where is it? I'm going to revert this bad boy. So uh, revert, where did you go? You're here somewhere. Come on, don't mess with me. Layer, image, edit. Come on, where is it? I don't see the revert button. It's got to be in the file. Okay, so anyways, guys, I'm going to revert this back to regular, and there it is. <laughs> F12, I forgot all about that. So I'm reverting back to the, the standard, uh, the image, right when it started. So if you are a web des designer or web developer and you want to make specific sizes, like let's say you want this to be 1,200 and you want it to be 600 high, and then bang, there you go. You've got that. You hit enter. And you've got a new crop, and of course it zooms out because it's super, super annoying. But there you go, guys. You've got a 1200 by 600 piece, and you know it is because when you click on it, you'll see the um, exact measurements up there in the top. So again, that is another option. A third option is, is if you get an image and it's not straight and you want to straighten it, or it's too straight and you want to add like a, a bit of a weird angle to it, that is something you can do inside uh, with the crop tool as well. Let me show you really quickly here what that looks like. There's something called a straighten tool. And basically what you do is when you click on this, you can create a line. And that line basically is your horizon. And that's what you deem to be straight. So in this one, this is very, very straight. But let's say I wanted to have like a, um, a strange, a strange like angle to it like this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You're going to see here that it totally twisted the look of the picture. And when I hit enter, 
we've got a completely different top now. Now this is a really cool effect if you're, you know, you're trying to throw somebody off by having an asymmetrical design, but that is another component of the crop tool that I just thought I would share with you guys. So anyways, guys, this is an introduction to cropping, aspect ratios, width times height resolutions, that type of stuff. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I got a lot more stuff coming. See you soon.